these walls of eyes. Ten o'clock. So back in the um, modern era. Bad dream. Ugh. How long was I out? I I don't even remember falling asleep. Fifteen, twenty minutes. <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? A thousand, oh. A thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Jeez. We were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years, and now we are all here. Each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So, all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So this, if Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. You're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Madison, you've I'll been running around this place, or... playing with well, pianos and things. Yeah, I think she'd look around. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? I knew Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Wait, did we leave Madison behind? It tells about Augustine. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. And what he thinks he knows about her. Augustine Lieber. Elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor... 
I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. And she'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. So we're now Linda, okay. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know what Okay. Sure. Found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, you can be sure of that. Huh. Oh. Now that was a curious sound. Now what did that say, Archibald? What? Macmillan. Oh. Daddy or great grandfather of heaven. Okay, tree. Why do we care about a, a dead tree? Ah, oh. yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. No, wait. wait. Hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on. What? Before all this goes any further. I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or...? Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... Touching. What about you, Stan? What happened to you? And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Oh, well, now that is a very good question. Oops, we alienated Maddie. <laughs> Why? And an expensive one, too. Hmm. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Okay, let's go for here before we get locked out of that area. Oh. Panic room? Or just observation room? Uh, 
stabilizers tuner vent override access attempt regulator Hmm, what is this? Tuner regulator stabilizers. Cat? Spatial suspension required. Cat worm? What is that? Catafalocui? I don't know what that is. C A T A F A L Q U E. Catafluke. I, I have no idea what that means. I don't know what that is. Cessation requires alignment. Deactivate prior to access attempt. Oh, an event override of the bomb. Okay. Temporal machinery. She's a time traveler? Um, okay. That's weird, that just disappears. Looks like practically every room in the house. But where's our host? Well, it didn't show the uh, the little side passage we opened, so it doesn't show everywhere. She's I, she's obviously in the no signal area. We're not going to talk about any of this, the others? I guess not. Oh, the others have already gone up. Is there anything they were hiding over here? Okay, let's catch up. Oh. Fancy stained glass. Cool statue. Hmm, Billy. Piece, yeah, his weapon. Okay, so we need to look around for that. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Some kind of elevator? Maybe? Sensationalist trash. The face Sam of evil. Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. The true story of Frank Stone, told by the man who stopped him, Sheriff Lloyd Kush. Who even is that? Lloyd Kusick, I guess? Doesn't like the title hero. In 463, Kusick was the local sheriff of Cedar Hills, a sleepy Oregon steel town. Just a regular blue collar Joe doing his darndest to make life a little safer for the folks who put their trust in him. But Cedar Hills was hiding a silent menace. A merciless monster preying on the unsuspecting citizens Kusick had sworn to protect. When the bodies started piling up, the only thing left was for an everyday hero to step up. This, 
is the true account of how Cedar Hill's first and only serial killer was brought to justice told first hand by the man who dared to look evil in the eye and pull the trigger. That fateful night I had sent one of m one of my deputies over to check on things. Not my first choice. The flatfoot was from out of state and a little green for my liking. But all he had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But, when Tommy called, I knew this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself, and there was Stone, standing on that platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in his hand. I'm not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before I was lost, so I drew my gun, took a deep breath, and made a silent prayer until my aim would strike true. Why is the page not turning? Oh, there we go. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out of towners descended on Cedar Hills, trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I didn't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand what he that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, I say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hills. Nice chairs. Yeah? And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who stand? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Um, is she talking to voices in her head? Looks like it opens with a key. So we need a piece of Billy. We need a key and a round thing, tumbler kind of thing for that. Kind of like the things that were in um, the Resident Evil 2 statues that rotated to ensure the symbol. Oh, and this is a picture of the house. Why is the window open? You sure would get a kick out of this place? And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was... Talking to my mom, to Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because... Sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy, like she really is out there, guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well... She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. 
even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? So I wonder if the entity is pretending to be Bonnie and talking to Madison, guiding her where it wants her to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids, making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open full of light and the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction and right in the middle of it all was bonnie i i don't think i've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves the only thing that mattered was that moment nothing else That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Oh, we know this? Because from something we found? Did she expected this? Is that because the camera is that what we're getting from this? I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Right. The security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, it would be beyond the iron door. door. Like that. Yeah, no shit. You've got a point. Maddie. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. But we need the key. The Phantom of Cedar Steel. What's taking them so long? I thought we were going to have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Also, being late is rude. Hey, right out time. Time to get cooking. What? 
nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. You guys. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. And yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't, please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> terrible. This is amazing. I'm I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were... Real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's pretty disrespectful. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just yeah. like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make By a what? good movie. By what? What are you going to do? You suddenly, is Frank Stone suddenly going to appear in your movie that, you, that wasn't in there before? Like, that's super disrespectful if you're actually going to just... Um, you know, take advantage of a horrible tragedy that happened. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? Hi, May. If it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris. Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding. Obviously. Obviously. Robert and I are going to look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing any way I have to. See, that's where I get there, Yeah, like... Uh, Chris is being a bit weird about this. No more edits. Here, uh, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. I can't believe Mom's finally getting out. I can't wait. Here, look at this. Oh, I wonder what happened. Mill projections her. dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. 
There were suicides. At the mill? Oh, I was trying to read it. Is it mill, translates like, it for you. People who worked there or so, got it's like Sunday. Oh, it's like Back to the house on Sunday. It was a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? I'm sure no one was sad Just to see it go. Did we read this one? I think so. I pulled some of see, these this today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders. Oh. And a little before. Oh, good thinking. See the steel mill once, the industrial hobby of our town is to be permanently closed after 40 years of almost continuous operation. Founded by Howard Kinsley Tester in 1921, the mill in its wartime heyday produced high quality steel that is distributed across the nation. Mr. Tester's legacy was honored by his daughter Morgan in a statement given on Wednesday morning. Morgan Tester's statement suggested the family's decision to close the mill permanently had been taken out of respect for the memories of those murdered on its premises by former employee Stone. Not everyone is convinced by this justification, however. Analysts sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. Secrets of Killer Stone come to light, September 16, 1963. As Cedar Hills tries to make sense of recent events as, as a Cedar Steel Mill, more disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the centre of the scandal. 36-year-old machinist Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Stone, who our own Sheriff Kusick is linking with multiple unsolved disappearances as a disappearances over the last three years has been described by those who knew him as a loner, creep, and oddball. Most shocking are the growing rumours the stone was taken on by Cedar Steel and its owners, the Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence, which we did see. It's unusual though, because serial killers wouldn't be described as loners, creeps, and oddballs. They'd be described as nice, friendly, very charismatic, because they're all sociopaths. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. Tom Holt interview. Oh, we have an item. Oracle of the Universe Gur Guru Connor Barnum Do you feel trapped? Are you living your life or merely surviving? Does this universe satisfy you? Or are you left seeking a deeper truth beyond this reality? By harnessing the deep knowledge within this book gleaned by Guru Barnum from his studies of those tribes closest to enlightenment, you too can assimilate the wisdom of the ancients' design and emerge from the cocoon of ignorance to soar on wings of cosmic bliss like a butterfly of enlightenment. It was through my own practices, learned from my journeys through the American interior, that I successfully elevated my consciousness to the point I was able to visualize another Zeta Hills, one beyond the veil of our reality. This little town seems so very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, the Calhoun family still own the drugstore, but the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. Here he was, in healthy middle age, a season of life I knew he had never reached. I 
an omniverse? Far out. I drew two conclusions from my meditative voyage. One that every journey through life offers almost incalculable variation. And while we may each have our own finite possibilities on our own journeys, there may be other journeys taken by mirror versions of ourselves to visit all destinations. Two, the different planes of reality are not so much separate rivers running in parallel as they are interconnected tributaries flowing to a single vast ocean of experience and possibility. To explore this idea further, we must consider some... So there's a local book. Immortal versions of people and objects across different realities. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Interesting. Yes, Tom Holt was the Night Watchman. That's cool. That's cool. We learn about him. What happened to him? He became buddies. He gave up drinking. No, I don't think there's anything else here. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Exploiting victims of a serial killer? Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Ghoulish? Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? Oh, so it's okay. I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. That she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Mm. From that perspective, uh, it is a cool scene. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Huh? 
what is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. How she gets it up at the mill later on? Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. Oh, Chris now. Okay. Find the entrance to the storm drain. We have backtracking, see what's around. I guess not. Okay, the chimney. Breathe in. Didn't any of them bring flashlights? Like it, it's I can't believe like, we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. It's dark now, but it looks like it's from like bad weather. Like it has been raining, I guess. Or like is that a break between the clouds? And that's clouds? Yeah, that's gonna be the clouds, right? It's not the sky? If that was the sky, that wouldn't be so bright, would it? Yeah, nothing on the wall. So, like, it's gonna be much darker, isn't it, when they come out after okay. filming? Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Well, uh, it makes more sense to stay away from your dad's patrol ruse. So we'll cross. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey. I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. How did they all do that without incident? Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, Nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. I had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. 
Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. Oh, we can't go off this way? Seems like it's the same level, but okay, maybe not. Crouch. It seems so dumb they don't have flashlights. Wait, where was Linda going? I thought Linda was going progress. Where did she go? Okay, so that's the thing. Can't go that way. Going to first person there, weirdly. Ah, yeah. So this is the log we came out of. And then Linda started going this way. Was there something actually up here then? What's progress? <laughs> oh my god. There's so many ways to go. Oh. Up there? Which would require going up that way. Or is it this way? Campfire. Oh, oh there's something here. Just come out here and hang out. Bonnie seems too cool to have friends. That's true. They were not cool enough for her. That's why she moved to New York. Wait, really? <laughs> no. But she wasn't always so Bonnie. What? She was kind of a goody little two-shoes. Who had bonfire parties at abandoned mills? What's wrong with that? It just doesn't feel very goody little two-shoes. Well, Bonnie was the president of the Clean Up Cedar Hills High School Initiative. We'd come through here and pick up all the litter that had blown in off the road. Oh. Goody little two-shoes. What happened? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Gotta love a happy ending. Is that campfire they were talking about? I guess, maybe? Or was that campfire? I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. So we need to get over there. Oh, I see. As we climb up, we can just go around. So I guess it's more, way more linear than I'm giving it credit for. There we go. Over that way.
Let's go balance again. To get the Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And gravity. Tattooed middle finger. She tells me I must not doubt what I dream of. Weird. Okay, I don't get it. Oh, we just jumped down from here? The others came down from. He jumped onto these barrels. Don't think there's anything in the corner, is there? No, the highlight. If there was. If we got too close to something, it would highlight. Are we climbing up? Yep. It doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go. Okay. Make room. And down we go. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. I guess this would have gone to the other path. And um, that's how we would have come from the other path, right? I think. Absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades. I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> well, finally. Thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Uh, clicky, well, clicky. The flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit. Bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> Our way into the mill. Yeah, I don't like that there's a trolley there. I mean, someone's been here before then. There's other stuff. An old helmet. CN230. Wasn't that on the board that we saw? Must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked so to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone. <sighs> there was one time when I was little, and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid, or like my dad. Got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. 
probably never will. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. Oh, we missed one, it looks like. Maybe it's from the other path. Hey, it's the Wraith! The Spectre that stalks the fog. Oh, look at him! Look at the little Wraithy! Oh, he's missing his bell. Where I'm meant to be going. Well, the elves aren't coming through, so I'm I guess not. Sure not about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. A generator. Okay. What does it say? Casting the shed. Okay. Better get back to Robert. Uh, what is that? Is that a bone? Or is that just a piece of wood? Probably just a piece of wood. How rusty that is, I would not want to touch that. Wait, we can't use the key? No, it's just locked. I was gonna say, he told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. That was a very mood on these things. Got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. So all these markings must be from um, urban uh, explorers. Which is interesting. So it looks like it's a well-traveled thing. There are lots of people come in here, actually. Oh, it's down here. Okay. 
Okay, that door doesn't open. Oh, from the other side. Interesting. So why is this even here then? Why can we even go down here? Are we going to get pushed down here at some point? And then have to go this way? What's this? Oh, no that's hat. Way. Is this? Wow. I think that could actually be my dad's. Yeah. I thought police officers had to guard those things for their lives. I'm sure he did. And again, mm -hmm. I can see why he left it behind. Yeah, but why, you, why is everyone else leaving it behind? Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is all locked off. Because that's where we were before. Down there. Nearly there. Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off. This is cool going back here and... Kind of like retracing Sam's steps. Wait, which way? Oh, that way? What's down here then? Yeah, Sam came in down here before. They don't comment on it, they look at it, but they don't say anything. Oh, that one's actually still got the uh, sconce thing on there. Yeah, so he came down, and he, w he went that way, didn't he? Yeah, because there was stuff down there. He went down that way. Yeah, he shimmied, that's right. He shimmied past here, but we can't. I think this is it. Up there. Yeah, this is the way to the furnace. Oh. Last chance to turn back. 
Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Several they took the same route as Sam, so they would have ended up in the first room, but evidently not. Thanks for waking up. And cut! How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? The and lines would be so terrible. A picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! Yeah, just have one more scene. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. The machine shop. Oh, yeah. That's the first Oh, yeah, chamber, first right? chamber. My bad. So you already did what the machine shop? Think? I guess so. I say we do it. Sounds good. Yo, you coming? Uh, yeah, be right there. Is that Augustine Lieber hiding in the shadows? Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Ready okay, to I'm coax out her killer? You will! Oh, it's fine. Gotcha. Oh, I already knew she was going to turn up. Not cool! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Oh, she then stole all the shirts as well. Stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie... I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate. Uh, and, she financed and us. And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh no, no, no. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Linda? Yeah, Bonnie's gonna do what she's gonna do. I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. <laughs> Wait, can I explore around here? So we're now Linda. But Augustine's gotta be here, right? Maybe? Oh. Well, that's really helpful. Where is it? Uh, I'm not seeing it. Oh, in there. 
What? How do we get in there then? Because we've got to find an item to open it. Hmm. That's the machine shop, isn't it? Maybe, I don't know. Um, okay. How are we going to find our thing? We need to find an item to get in here. How are we going to do that? Oh, crowbar. Nice. Sam left it around. And so we so did everybody else apparently. Wooden Oni mask. Finally she has come back to me. She is happy. The Oni. I guess, I guess that's everything here. Who's with us? Chris. Oh, I'm fucking stuck on terrain. Get off! Which way did they go? That way. So it's over here then. There's a door. Oh yeah, nothing, right? Yeah, because uh, Sam had to climb over there. So if you came through there... That's... yeah, that went down. Yeah, I guess there's a bunch of... yeah, because he came out from... out from there, right? There's like a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Okay. It's nice how they all wait for Linda. No, this is where he came out. And he, then he had to go around. Yeah. Because I was locked. But we have the key. Archer's flame yields the hardest steel. Howard Kinsley Tester. Oh, so you made the mill. Wait, we didn't use that key. What was that key for then? Is it going to be later on? Do we need that key? Yeah, it's just... 
This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. Oh, all the way over there. Find a place to shoot. How do we get over there? So he was skewered on there. On that. There. And then he ran over and like shy me chop down there. Talk to Chris. Oh, we need to find a like a wheel or a cog or something or crank. To open that with. Okay, door won't open. Needs a part. So I wonder if that ladder, because that looks damaged, I wonder if that ladder would have broken then if Sam had tried to climb up. Oh, it's up there. Crank handle. Send help. Lighted rat. Five names I've taken, but I feel no closer to the path. And now they're probably weirded out by what Linda's doing. Hey Linda, why are you messing around with things? Is there anything else here? Oh, so I'm missing a couple of things. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. 
Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Jaime? Chris? All set? Oh, am I supposed to be doing something? Or has it crashed? Um. And oh, there we go. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. <gasps> You're way too close. And cut! Linda, that was sick! Totally, felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at Jaime's anyway. How'd I do? Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just laying out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Yeah, let's just leave. <laughs> we don't want to get involved. Uh, I'm just gonna go get some fresh air. You should probably go too. What, like, go, go? I don't think I want you here right now. So, oh, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. 
We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, the machine shop. Uh, okay, uh, now, okay. Hey, Chris. So that's what she's looking for, eh? That's why she's after the Frank Stone stuff, because she wants to use that to get people to, like, pay for a movie. Holy... What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Because a strange object on you to shoot. Ah, rats. What's that? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. So did I? Did I fail? <sighs> Whatever the hell that was. It's going to look great in the movie. Is it going to look great with weird random shots that aren't, don't seem connected to anything? Like, how do you Didn't explain how they got to this to place? Only one way to they just randomly out. appear in this, this furnace area? Let's go take a look. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. Well, a machine job. I mean, he always has been, long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night. We're in the abandoned still mill, where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but... He sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional oh. philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Wait, we use that to jump across? I guess so. No, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, because the thing's broken. Okay. Oh, more balancing.
Because we'll take... Wait, what? Oh, do we have to go down? Maybe. Go down to go up? Ah, oh, we gotta move these things out. Like in the library. Nothing else down here, is there? Doesn't seem like it. Some kind of tool, I guess. Oh, is there something down there? Did I look in the middle area? I'm not sure I did. Don't know what that is, but... Oh, I guess they're the moulds. Yeah. Machine shop. Wait a second, guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap, it is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss, though. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. Damn, yeah, he's so there. uncomfortable. <laughs> Don't blame him, though. Oh, yeah, I don't think we did. No, we never came in here. We saw the dog in here, but that was about it. Locked. Mm, maybe you have to go down to go up. This 
should open the door, right? If had power. Oh shit, we're gonna have to work on a generator to get power. Maybe there's something useful in there. Yeah, like a fucking key. Hey, Allison, though. See what Robo has found. He found a fucking generator. Oh my god! He found a fucking generator. I guess I have to look down below first. Oh, this can't go underneath. Oh, we gotta go that way actually. Shit. So we're actually gonna have to work on a generator. It's frozen up for a second. It'll wake up again. <sighs> yeah, performance issues are a bit bad. Like this is on an SSD, so the loading shouldn't be crazy like this. But it is not enjoying this one bit. Oh my god, it's these type of generators too. The actual proper ones. Fuck. That's mental. I love it. Broken? Looks like, yeah. It's okay, you just wave your hands over it. <laughs> Let me take a look. Yeah, you work on that part. I'll work on the other part. No, it works together. It'll go faster. Hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to... I'll do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way. No, but like, what you should, how you should explain it is like, no, but that was the initial intention. I mean, you're fine being here, but that's originally what was the reason for starting in the first place where where's the, the neutral response we don't really, do we want him to be jealous like we're, we're just wrapped up now do we need a few minutes alone like there should be a third choice. Guess we'll go for that one. It's less of a dick, right, I guess. The truth is, all night I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault. She's more focused on her work than you, man. Oh, give me a break. What's up, Chris? not wrong. People? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. We need two gyro parts, oh okay. This is almost implying this that might work with the generator. 
Isn't this what? Didn't she? Didn't Augustine Lieber put down a bolt when she came into the room? When she uh, met the people in the present? But I wonder if, like, because the generator is exactly like is used in the trials. Did the entity put the generator here? Or has Frank Stone been the, like, the vessel that the, the entity used to build the, um, the generators? Or used him as for the schematics of them or whatever? Some parts. Oh. Could help with the generator. Sure, whatever this is. While holding the left mouse button to repel the generator, skill checks will appear. Press a space when the pointer passes over the success zone. Hitting the solid part adds bonus progress. Missing the success zone results in failure and removes some progress, uh, some repair progress. And alerts the killer. Out of the way, Chris. Okay, let's open it up. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you can talk to her? I saw a key over in the office. Maybe it'll help us get into the boxcar. If we can just find a way to reach it. He has something down though. Through the roof ducts like a raccoon. I'm surprised it can hold people's weight. Okay, what have we here? Ah, so no all in order then. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe this key will open up the boxcar. F stone. You get the key? Yep. It's got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. Yeah, obviously. Let's see if the key unlocks the box car. I'm too close to jump. Bit of awkward controls there. Okay. Seems like a real bad idea. I have to get out of this safely. He's got a man up, right? He's got to, he's got to prove himself because he's insecure. So he's got to, uh, he's got to show Chris, you know, how manly he is. I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Grab him. Got you. Oh. Whew. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. It would not have been. I wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. <laughs> Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Oh, I handed hey, a jar. Nice. Is is that a Yeah. And it's got friends. <sighs> this is insane. And they don't even have the camera. Explore the lair. Oh, there's a hatch right there. Must have come loose from the freight broke through. Freezing up again. Yeah, performance is um, iffy. It's not, it's not completely crashes, is on, but yeah, it's a bit dodgy. Yeah, I don't know if other people have experienced this too. Yeah, hatch. Exactly. Mill writes no book. Cedar Steel Corporation. Machine shop and repair. Cedar Hills, Oregon. Who are these other people? Parker D. No, want to get close. Feel every blow, hear their screams. Kessler E. This time make it last. Better control for the neck, small cuts, keep clean. Taste their fear. So 
So these are the uh, images he painted around the, the place. A creature forged to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No. Not what I see at night. Inspire terror. Cut. Fix. This must be his murder table. Calhoun, son, and friend murder. Stone of this. Following several days of rumours and speculation, Sheriff Lloyd Cusick last night confirmed he is treating the deaths of George Calhoun and Joyce Barton at the Hawk Line Point last Thursday night as a double murder. George Calhoun, 28, son of Cedar Hill's respected drugstore proprietor William Calhoun and his friend Joyce Barton died after their car crashed and caught fire. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the weekend and have now determined that Mr Calhoun's car was parked where it left the road. It was parked where it left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. The news of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock for us all. Coming so soon in the wake of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay. But as in that episode, when Mrs. Clay's nephew Alvin was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation by Sheriff Cusick, we must all hope and pray for a swift and just outcome. Who is that? She was one of Stone's victims. They never found her. They never found her. I like Dorothy Clay. The police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. Yeah, they're taking it. I'm sorry. There's evidence. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This yeah, is like real so. deal, no joke kind of shit, man. You can't get the 100%. Shit I'm serious. We yes, really he has be to. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. 100%. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? But the movie? The movie's done. Yeah, the movie's made. Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We have a yeah. Week. Yeah. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. Are we going to go down in the hatch, too? Yeah, so we put all these things. Okay, down the hatch. Um, hello. Give me the prompt. There we go. We gotta go. 